Uh, tonight we're hearing from the family of an 18 year old man who was hit in the jaw by a rubber bullet fired by a Sacramento County Sheriff's deputy Saturday night. The Sheriff's Department says he was one of the protesters who th was throwing rocks at them that night. Gulston Dart has the story from both the Sheriff's Department and the 18 year old's family. And we do want to warn you, some of these images are graphic. Devin Jones remembers getting the call late Saturday night. He got shot in the face and he said that he thought he got punched, you know, so he wasn't even, he didn't even know what happened. His cousin, 18 year old Deshaun McHolder was hit in the head by a rubber bullet as the George Floyd protest raged at the Sacramento County Jail. And he fell to the ground and then a, a group of protesters ran to him and one threw him on the shoulders and carried him to another um, protester who drove, drove him to the hospital. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Department says McHolder was one of the people throwing rocks at law enforcement that night. I fully expect that we have that incident caught on video. I know there is video of that same um, man throwing rocks at the officers. So um, as far as aiming and what precipitated that, I know that the officers were being backed up and literally had their backs against the wall and were in fear of being overrun at the jail. Some witnesses say it appears the deputies were aiming high. Deshaun's family can't understand why he would be hit in the face. Here's his sister. No matter what you say he did, no matter what you thought he did, he didn't deserve to be shot in his face. And if it's not lethal, why not shoot him in his body? Why aim at his face? We don't aim for the face. We don't aim for um, any critical areas, neck, face. Uh, we generally aim for center of mass. If for no other reason that it's easiest to hit, people move and things are dynamic. So oftentimes if we're aiming and someone, you know, all you have to do is duck slightly before you get, you know, you would get one in the face. So McHolder has a broken jaw. That means not having solid food for six to eight weeks. The family says they are getting support from the community. He's stable and he's uh, he's a little distraught, a little bit um, just uh, I would say emotionally, um, but he he still he still is keeping his wits about himself, which he always does. And us as a family, we feel grateful um, that people actually care so much about what what's going on and stuff like that, and. Um, it's actually lift the spirits of Deshaun also. He's an aspiring actor, so to have this done to him, to his face, to his person, is devastating to him. Never been in trouble in his life. Golston Dart, KCRA 3 News. Now, yesterday, the Sheriff's Department said McHolder was cited for assault on an officer, but his family told us he did not receive a citation. McHolder is now scheduled for more surgery this coming Friday.